my wife and I were living we were in Burlington. And so you go into the big city for the audition. I was supposed to meet Brian Thomas at 11. Um, I got to the radio station at 11, uh, and he had me write a newscast. And I went into the studio, not on air, but just a, a production studio, read the newscast. Uh, he listened to it. We talked about it. Uh, then we spent an hour talking about radio and Chum and his visions and where he thought I could fit and what were my visions and all of that kind of um, big picture stuff. And then he said to me, I'd like you to do an on-air audition um, because 1050 Chum had a lot of processing at that time and he was curious what my voice would sound like with that processing. So I had to come back and do the 6 o'clock that night. So I was there for 11 left in the middle of the afternoon and then came back and did the six. You must have been shitting your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because um, it's chum. Um, and it meant something, right? And it was, it was big time. It was... Um, and to have the audition one, one like uh, to, to have the interview and to go through the, 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 the process of, of doing a a demo newscast and having that critiqued at the time, that was, that was great. Um, but then to be told, why don't we put you on the air at six? And I was like, oh, geez. So yeah, and it was all high energy and it was chum. There were production people and there were guys pointing at you and lights going off and talkbacks and <laughs> yeah, it was way over my head.